Hello everybody, my name is Russ. And I'm Carrie. And we are the Roads We Roam. We're a couple living full time in our little guy Max. Welcome to our weekly recap video. This week we start you off in just outside of Sedona, Arizona where mm -hmm. we were boondocking. We found a really great site in a gorgeous, gorgeous spot. Man. And Russ actually ran into the first time where he's been pretty sick in, yeah. in the trailer. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's a little challenging being in a small unit, being sick. Uh, things like you can't just go downstairs and turn the TV on when you can't sleep. So it just took a little bit of getting used to, but it was so pretty out there. And I'd start feeling bad for myself. I'd look out and I'd see this beautiful view. But I'll tell you one thing that definitely was uh, a little challenging was all the dust and dirt out there. Especially the ones kicked up by the ATVs, oh. which you can tell in the video that we're going to show you in just a few seconds. Russ was really trying to find a way in his brain to figure out how we could get one. <laughs> there is just no way. So it's a good thing we do not own a toy hauler, otherwise I think we would have had one. But that dust and that dirt truly gets into everything. Everywhere. So if you head to Sedona, it's well worth it. I wouldn't have this as a reason to not go, but be prepared. There will be red dust and dirt in things you didn't even know about for <laughs> months to come. Yep. So after that, we left uh, Sedona and we headed on to the Navajo National Monument. Yeah. We got to see some great cliff dwellings. Oh man, gorgeous out there. We've been trying to see those for a long time. So it was really nice to get an opportunity to see those. And then we went on to Moab, Utah, where the Escapers Convergence was happening. Yeah, we're having a great time here. A lot of like-minded people. I really didn't think there were gonna be so many people here. How many people did you think would oh, be here? Oh, I don't know, 20, maybe 50 tops. And how many are here? Oh, I don't know, 300 maybe. <laughs> you was off just by a little bit. And, and not just people, that's rigs, 300 rigs. So you figure on average, there's probably two people in each rig. Extra rig and dogs, cats, maybe yeah. some turtles and birds, I'm not sure sure but a lot to do here we show this in the video I think you guys are really gonna enjoy it. and if you want to know more about the escapers or you're wondering what that is we're gonna put a link below that you can check them out in their entirety so what are you waiting for come our own the roads with us along these roads we roam we find adventure through traveling camping boondocking and exploring. Am I under the weather? Yes, I am sick. But with views like this, boy, you cannot help but feel better. This is where Carrie and I are blessed to be boondocking for the next couple of days. Just outside of Sedona, totally beautiful, love it. Now those buggies look like fun. I need to get me one of those. I don't think I can fit it in the back of the truck, and I don't think I can tow it behind the little guy Max, so I'm probably out of luck, but that looks like an absolute blast. <laughs> I'm never going back to sticks and bricks. I mean, look how unbelievable this is. My goodness. Truly blessed. So glad we made this decision, and I'm so glad we stuck with it. Enjoying our morning walk. Not a penny. What? Didn't even need a metal detector. <laughs> Aww. Oh, well. <laughs> Still got a penny. And where's Abby? There's Abby. Abby! Come here. She loves these walks. We were super happy to run in to Joyous Voyagers. We've got Daniel and Corey here. Hello, hello. It was and a blast. little guy, Max. Yes. yes. <laughs> it's been fun. It's, it's awesome to finally meet someone who has the same rig and yep. you can sit here and how do you do this and how do you do that? Uh, so much information. Great, great yeah. conversations. Yeah, good yeah exactly. As well. We had a good time. Good couple of days, good food. We've actually been following them on Instagram and YouTube. They've got a really cool channel. You guys, make sure to check that channel out. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much. We will talk to you later. See ya. <laughs> Bye. 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 We're at a gas station somewhere in Arizona and they have uh, Navajo ham. It looks like some fry bread with a chili and 
piece of ham. Somebody wants some? Here. You can have no, that piece don't, of bread. Don't, 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 don't. It's bread. <laughs> okay, just the bread. All right. Hey guys, we're at the Navajo National Monument, which is Park Service lands, and uh, we are on the Sandal Trail, which is going to give us an overlook of an old cliff dwelling back here. This cliff dwelling was supposed to have been uh, inhabited around 1200, and uh, I guess they think that they left around 1290, so almost 100 years there. So looking forward to getting over there and taking pictures. I wish we could go down into the canyon and see it. But uh, they don't allow tours down there until June, so we're a little ahead of schedule. For and we that. checked; they don't allow dogs down on the on the pathway, yep. which is common, I think, on a lot of most park service uh, trails. But I'm really excited because this is our first cliff dwelling that I've ever seen. We were trying to hit Gila, and it snowed, yep. so we didn't go. We're packing up right now. We're getting ready to head to Moab. Uh, we dumped our tanks, so we've got empty gray, empty black. Uh, just filled our fresh water. And now we're gonna fill this. This is another seven gallons, so we should have uh, 21 total gallons of fresh water out there with us. Not 100% sure. We'll probably have to go back into town once while we're out there, get another one of those filled, but uh, 21 gallons should do us pretty good. So we are hitting the road again. This morning is exceptionally fun. We are on our way to the Escapers Convergence in Moab. Abby's just thrilled. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Abby. <laughs> We're about an hour away. Uh, the weather is supposed to be great the entire week. And there's supposed to be a lot of people there. We're looking forward to the jet boat ride. Oh, how cool. Look at that. Look at all the RVs already. There's a lot of people here. <laughs> Hello. Welcome home. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Here's a couple you. koozies and some stickers. That's awesome. So basically, you can park anywhere you want, even on this other side. People are starting to go over there. Okay. If you do, go, um, however you park on this side, you can park double. On that side, they want everybody on the far side, that that far side towards the road. Gotcha. And they want all doors facing inside towards the runway. You know, more community. No, that's cool, man. It's going to be off-roading adventures, jet boat rides, hikes, dog walks, bands that are going to be here, and I guess the world famous best corn dog truck that's going to come through here at some point. So I know Russ will be first in line for that. I love corn dogs. <laughs> what is this? This looks the Escaper baked brie. Oh my goodness, it's even better. It's brie. I'm following him right inside. There you go, babe. <laughs> Everyone, we are here on an abandoned airstrip at the Escapers Convergence in Moab. We may all be boondocking, but we are not going to be hungry, that is for sure. Everybody here brought a plate. It is full, and we are hungry. Look at these bad boys right here. So there is an off-road day. Basically, they say if you have room, uh, jump in. Look, there's another one right there.
You go, babe. <laughs> everybody that's it for now thank you so much for joining us i hope you enjoyed it i know carrie and i had a blast thank you so so much and if we can ask one more thing please click that like and subscribe button we'll talk to you next week bye, bye.